Hola chicos! Welcome to this very brief video on our um, immersion course. And I just want to bring you up to date with where we are with our immersion course. We've done a few videos telling you about what we've, what we've been up to. Now we're at the stage where we are um, basically we've got two weeks now, the first two weeks just about full. And in the second week we've still got around about four places left to fill. The first week is the last week of April. The second week is from the 1st of May until the 5th of May 2017 and we have four places left there. So what, what, where are we up to now? I want to tell you a, a few of the plans that we have, okay? Just about how the week is going to, to be structured. There are lots and lots and lots of immersion courses out there already, tons. And so we're not we're not looking to compete, right? We're not we're not trying to compete on price. We're not trying to compete on uh, I don't know anything else. All right. What we're trying to do is this: we're trying to create something that is completely um, outside of the norm. Let's say that my my absolute goal is to help every person who comes on this immersion course to expand the comfort zone, to stretch the comfort zone. What does that mean? That means by the end of the week, they will be more comfortable speaking Spanish than when they came. All right now, that might sound like a um, slightly, uh, slightly off the wall kind of way of thinking about it. But if you consider your Spanish, right, one of the biggest issues that we have, apart from competency, Right? Everybody's got competency issues. I've got competency issues. All right, it's not our maternal language. It's it's a second language, but one of the main issues that we have is confidence, or a lack of it. Why? Because the way that we learn doesn't lend itself to speaking a lot. We tend to learn through other means. Lots of people have learned with the phone or or with videos, for example, with light speed Spanish or or with lots of other ways. But actually speaking we haven't done a lot of. And so what happens is our, our confidence level on with our spoken Spanish is probably the lowest in any of the groups. You know, whether it's writing, some people are very confident writing, I like writing, yeah? Or some people are very confident um, reading, love reading. But when it comes to speaking, they clam up, they get sweaty, um, the, the, it, the speaking falls to pieces, right? It's really, really common. And I've been there and I understand exactly. And sometimes I find myself in that situation when I am taken outside of my comfort zone, right? Because I've got a comfort zone as well. And when I fall outside of that, I know because my heart starts beating and my words kind of don't always come out nicely. Um, sometimes I say silly, silly, silly things. And it's only because when you are stressed in a, in a point of stress, what happens is your mind's not focusing correctly on what you want to say. Why? Because it's preparing you to run away. You're in the fight or flight. Why? Because you're outside of your comfort zone. You feel in danger. You feel endangered. So what happens is if we can get you to speak Spanish and be comfortable, or at least get more accustomed to speaking Spanish in places that you wouldn't normally, or in ways that you wouldn't normally, what happens is that's your comfort zone expanded. So the next time that you do that, the next time you have to speak to somebody, what happens is you don't have all of this reaction inside. You don't have this heart beating and the sweaty palms and, and the sweat and, and, and the nervousness and the internal chatter. Right? So that's what we're aiming to do. How are we going to do that? Well, the day is going to be um, made up of, of two things. Four hours of class. The classes start at 10 o'clock in the morning, apart from a Wednesday, because we're all going to the market, so that's slightly different. But typically, we start at 10 o'clock in the morning, and we finish at two, all right? Before that, obviously, breakfast in the, in the hostel. Everybody's staying in the hostel. Breakfast there, off we go to class. We, we have class for four hours. Within those four hours, we're gonna have a break, have a, go out and have a coffee, not inside. We're going out to a bar, you order your own coffee. Um, in the class itself, even though we, it is a classroom situation, it won't be a typical classroom situation. You won't just be listening to a teacher talking to you for four hours. That would just be 
the most boring thing you could imagine. What's going to happen is that the classes are going to be extremely interactive, extremely interactive, okay? So you will be talking a lot of the time. So what we'll be doing is we'll be explaining ideas or um, vocabulary or some, whatever's appropriate for that day, then you're going to be practicing it. Where are you going to be practicing it? First of all, you're going to practice in the safe environment. You're going to practice with your peers, right? So you're going to be speaking in Spanish in the classroom with others, right? Then, obviously, supervised by the tutor or the tutors, depends on the day, right? Then, once you have got that nicely practiced and you're comfortable with it, then we're going to be going out into the street to actually practice it. And we've got lots of, I'm not going to tell you what we've got planned, but lots of surprises, lots of fun things to do, okay? So that takes you up to the end of the class. Then we break and, and you have lunch. The lunch is in the hotel again, the same hotel. So you have your, your and by the way, prepare yourself for those who are on the course, the menu, of the day, the big meal is at lunchtime, not nighttime, okay? So, so prepare to eat a lot at lunch. It's very important, okay? Um, and then once you've had lunch, then you will go on a mini excursion with the tutor. Now, what I mean by mini excursion is that um, it, we, it's not likely that we'll be going outside of Torajon. Why? Because the excursion is gonna be two hours. And in that two hours, we're aiming to get you into a situation where you have to speak, okay? And uh, it's whether that be the speaking, it's, it's not going to be two hours of you speaking to people. Okay, we, I mean, we, we couldn't even, how would we manage that? But there'll be times when you've got to speak to people. For example, getting on a bus and paying, paying to go somewhere on the bus. Okay, or getting on a train and buying your ticket. Um, going into a, into a restaurant or into a, into a cafe or whatever. It's where you're going to have to talk to people, okay? Um, I mean, there, there are other things that you're going to be doing which are going to be slightly more involved, but I'm not going to tell you what they are. So that's what we'll be doing. So it'll be an excursion to go to places of interest in Torajón, which might be, we're certainly going to go to El Parque de Europa, which is a fabulous place. They've, they've, they've just done such a good job. It's this massive park which represents all of the, all of the important cities of the world. Um, so that will be the end of the day official. All right. So let's say it ends three, four, let's say it's six o'clock, round about there, 6.30, back to the hotel to refresh yourself. Okay. And then, um, probably for about, I don't know, 7.30, eight o'clock, then you'll be eating your evening meal. And what we're doing is we're going to use a, a local, um, bar, restaurant, and you're going to be having tapas. That's going to be like raciones. That's going to be the evening meal. Okay. Um, so the big meal of the day is at lunchtime. Okay. And the evening meal, well, there'll be, there'll be plenty to eat, but that's going to be slightly lighter than the lunch. Yeah. So in the, in the, in a local bar, then your choice, if you want to continue to talk in Spanish, then back in the hotel bar, there will be some Spanish people appointed by our own selves who will be there for your use, so for you to talk to them in Spanish. They will talk to you in Spanish if you want. If you find that after the end of the day, you're actually a bit tired and you would rather not, it's your option. Some people want to speak Spanish all of the time. Some people would, who aren't accustomed to speaking Spanish all the time find that actually after a while, the, the head's in the shed. Just depends on the person, yeah. So what we're trying to do is give you the option of being able to speak all the time in Spanish. Clearly, if you wanted to go off and do your own thing on the nighttime, you would be speaking in Spanish anyway, because as we said, that area is a non-English speaking area, okay? So that's kind of how the week's gonna run, okay? So it's going to be talk, 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 talk. One of the rules we're going to have is that from from the moment that you enter into the classroom until the end of the excursion, Spanish only, regardless. And then outside of that, that's your option, obviously. But what you do is you have to respect, if somebody wants to speak to you in Spanish, you have to respect that. You know, some people will say, no, I'm only gonna speak in Spanish this week. And brilliant if they do that, fantastic. 
Yeah. But if you can't manage that, well, you let the other person speak, even if you answer them in English and they talk to you in Spanish. Doesn't matter. Yeah. Okay. Teachers. Cynthia, there are three teachers. Three teachers in the week. Cynthia, myself, and a lady called Anna. And Anna uh, is, she's working with us now, um, working with Skype students, etc. And Anna is from Madrid, but she was actually born in England. So she's got a very good English, which, you know, in, in, a, in times of emergency, she may need to use. But typically, obviously, she's a, she's a teacher. So she'll be teaching in Spanish. So we should have a fantastic week. It should be a brilliant experience. And let's hope that at the end of the week, if you choose to come on our courses, and we're going to be running many more, okay? These are just the first two. These are a trial. But after that, what we'd like to do is to offer one a month so that throughout the year, we've got a course running once a month. I think that would be manageable for us um, and manageable to actually fill them. Obviously, we've got to fill them. All right, so that's it. Um, if you're interested, uh, we've still got four, as I say, four places left on week two, I think, four now. If you're interested in, in joining, just let us know and then we'll get your name down and we'll start to have some fun with this. Yeah. Okay. See you later.